In this video, we'll learn about the conditional formatting. How a conditional formatting is done in Tableau, we'll see that right now. If you are aware of Microsoft Excel, we do a conditional formatting in that Excel database itself. Same type of conditional formatting can be done here. Let us see that. So I'm working in the workbook named as conditional formatting database is global superstore 2017. You can download this workbook below this video itself. Now what I'll do is I'll just create a subcategory, put into the rows and uh, what I'll do is I'll like pick up the sales and drop into this text part. Now I'll sort in the descending order. Now if I want to find out the highest sales, you see these are the highest sales which are given at the top and there are almost 15 to 20 which are given the option if you see. 17 rows are given these are the different 17 rows at the bottom they are given now if i want to give a numbering okay that is one two three four five based on the highest sales i have to use a function named as index so that is nothing but using an index function which are in inbuilt function in the tableau itself how do i create an index click on this drop down click on this create calculated field and here i'll type as index index that's it index open and close bracket that's the index function click on apply and click on ok that's it we have not done anything else we are actually preparing for going for the conditional formatting for that we need some uh, different functions like index and last let's see that so i'll just pick up the index and i'll drop it here itself so if i drop it here i'll not get in the proper format uh, why because it is a continuous field i have to convert into a discrete field so i'll just remove this index first i'll just pick up this option click on this drop down See as convert to discrete. Now I'll pick up this index and I'll drop it into the first row itself. Now if you see the orderings are given, these are just numberings are given based on the order which I've sorted. So you see that's the first highest one I'm getting the first one and till the 17th row I have got it. Now what I want to do is I want to highlight all the sales which are top 10 sales which are given here. So from row number 1 to row number 10, whatever sales are in the top 10 that I want to highlight. So I have to use again, I have to create one function here. So I'll just create a function, just select this option, click on this drop down, create calculated field. And here I'll type as top, top N. Now here type, I'll type as, I want all these options which are index less than equal to 10. Okay, wherever index is less than equal to 10, that means still here, till at this place binders everything should be included i'll click on ok so now there's an index which is created which is top 10 sorry top n which is created if you see it's a uh, data type which is boolean data type true and false are given here if you see tf i'll pick up this tf and i'll drop into this colors part so if you observe the top 10 values are been highlighted into this color itself if you see that is nothing but a conditional formatting on the right hand side if you see i've got the uh, aggregate of top 10 that is true and false which are given here Wherever there's a true, those have been highlighted in this yellow color. The false have been highlighted in this place. Now, if you want to, you know, only see the uh, top 10 items, you don't want to see the other one, select this option and you can say as exclude. That is nothing but a filtering part. And you see this excluded. Only the lower sales have been highlighted in this place. Uh, sorry, the top sales have been highlighted at this place. And if you want, you can, you can select and you can unfilter it. From here, you cannot unfilter it. You have to go here and you can remove this option outside because it's in the filter pane. And now if you see the top 10 and the others are also been given in this place. So this is for highlighting the top 10 values. What if I want to highlight the bottom 5 values? Uh, bottom 5, I'll insert only bottom 5 values because there are not, not many values. So what I've done is I've used two combinations. Once I've created index, second I've created top n. Now if I want to highlight the bottom, I have to use again two functions. One is the last and second one is the bottom. What is last? I'll just click on this drop down, create and I'll see as calculated field and here I'll type as last that's it last apply ok and here from this place I'll pick up the last and drop it here but it will not come because I have to convert to discrete convert to discrete and then I'll pick up this last and if I drop it here anywhere now if you observe the from last number it is trying to calculate the numbers if you see it is saying as the last one is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and till the 16 so why we need this first and last or you can say index and last it helps us to identify the lower and upper values so i understand this index is nothing but the highest value so i'll put a function on this index and i'll be highlighting the entire data same way if i want to highlight the lower five values i'll pick up this last option i'll take in the formula and then i'll highlight the lower five areas how do i create for lower five the same method create 
calculated field and here I'll type as bottom n bottom n and here I'll type as last less than equal to 5 5 so whatever options are given less than equal to 5 that means this will come till the 5 total 6 values why not make it as 4 yeah I'll make it as 4 apply ok so what will happen is now the top end was done I'll pick up this bottom end and I'll put in the colors now if you observe I've, I'm getting all the bottom end bottom 5 values on the right hand side if you see that's a bottom end 2 and false both I'm getting it right so these are the methods by which you can highlight your entire data bottom end and top end so that is given here at this place bottom M and if you pick up this top N and drop into the colors the bottom N will go away. Now there might be a question if I want to highlight both bottom 5 and top 5 how do I do that. So for that you need to create one more field in the measures like this. Click on this drop down create calculated field and here I will type as top 5 and bottom 5. Here I will type as index less than equal to 5 or I have the last less than equal to 5 that means index the top file will be selected and last the top 5 that means this this file will be selected here apply ok now the top 5 and bottom 5 if I pick up this option will be removed and if you see the top 5 and the bottom 5 are being highlighted and if you see these are the options here top 5 and bottom 5 are being highlighted now where you can use it based on your requirement which you want to highlight you can use those when you show this highlighting to the customer or some other person this is not required the index column and this column is not required so what you can do is you can remove these columns how do you remove these columns select this index on this place select as show header so this will go away if you don't want this last again you can select this drop down like this and you can select this option as show headers so this also will be gone now the person who is watching this will not be able to come to know what exactly is this I mean how they have been highlighted the technique at the back end is nothing but the formulas and this is the option as colors so index and last column I have hidden and only the formatting has been reserved so this is nothing but known as conditional formatting in the tableau part I hope you have understood that's all for this video